Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and His strength. Constantly seek His face. Dear the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. In the first reading, St. Paul encourages us to remain steadfast against the battle, against sin. And uh, in the uh, responsorial psalm, indeed, God is our rock in this battle. And uh, in the gospel, Jesus is resolved to accomplish his father's mission, even to the point of death. This are all for us a reminder and an encouragement as we go on our journey of faith to remain steadfast and focus on the way. Let us now ask the loving compassion and mercy of our Lord Jesus. You are sent to the contrite, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, draw your strength from the Lord and from his mighty power. Put on the armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the tactics of the devil. For our struggle is not with flesh and blood, but with the principalities, with the powers, with the world rulers of this present darkness, with the evil spirits in the heavens. Therefore, put on the armor of God, that you may be able to resist on the evil day, and having done everything to hold your ground. So stand fast with your loins girded in truth, clothed with righteousness as a breastplate, and your feet shod in readiness for the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, Hold faith as a shield to quench the flaming arrows of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. With all prayer and supplication, pray at every opportunity in the Spirit. To that end, be watchful with all perseverance and supplication for all the holy ones and also for me that speech may be given me to open my mouth, to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, so that I may have the courage to speak as I must. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-string lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Hallelujah. 
Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Some Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Go away and leave this area because Herod wants to kill you. He replied, Go and tell that fox. Behold, I cast out demons, and I perform healings today and tomorrow, and on the third day I accomplish my purpose. Yet I must continue on my way today, tomorrow, and the following day, for it is impossible that a prophet should die outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you. How many times I yearn to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you were unwilling. Behold, your house will be abandoned. But I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Jesus was clearly keen observer of nature and of the animal world. He would have often seen hen clucking about in the village, gathering their brood and watching over them. He too was bent on gathering people. He wanted to form them into a united community, including people who would not normally relate in friendship, Jew, the Jews, Samaritans, and Gentiles, rich and poor, law-abiding and sinner, male and female. He laments the fact that so many were not willing to be gathered by him. He longed to gather them, but he was powerless before the mystery of human freedom. He would call and invite and plead, but could not coerce. When his desire to save people met with murderous resistance and they nailed him to the cross, he continued to call and to invite, calling them still. When I am raised up, I will draw people to myself. After the resurrection, his work of calling and inviting and gathering continues to this day. He never ceases his work of gathering people for the kingdom of God. And he continues to await our response day by day. Various influences can block us from responding to the Lord's call. And to resist such forces, we need the strength of the grace of God, the armor of God. For this, says Ephesians, we should pray in the Spirit at all times. Indeed, God always calls and waits for us. God bless us. Prayers to the faithful. Trusting in our loving and merciful Lord, we present our petitions to Him.
for the church throughout the world. May God bestow unity among all her peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. For those elected to public office, may the Holy Spirit assist them in balancing justice and mercy in their service to the people. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who struggle with homelessness, may the Lord in his mercy help them find adequate shelter. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may God help us grow in our understanding of his love for us and transform us. Let us pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, may they soon rest in God's eternal light and life. Let us pray to the Lord. And for the special intention for today's Mass is for Antonio Martinez. May he rest in peace in the internal embrace of our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our Father, look with compassion on our petitions and grant them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, this earth is given, and human hands are made. It will become for us a bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Let us all pray now that this, our sacrifice of bread and wine, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord. Let the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. In His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, 
and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the mystery, the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we blessed Joseph, her spouse, we the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. <clears throat> and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer it Saturday the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, we eat your body and drink your blood. Let him not bring us condemnation, 
but to help in mind and body. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, and that what we now celebrate in signs may one day possess in truth. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. A good day to all.